All right, y'all, get ready for the strongest poison build in the entire game. And I stand by that. This is the strongest poison build you can ever make. We got a little lucky, I think, with the shot, but either way, this is insane. Just check it out. It's gonna be a good time. So we're gonna start out here. We're playing Thief Episode 2, which is the one where you get to steal the enemy's equipment. So we're gonna see if we, we got lucky here. Um, do we want to steal any of this? I don't think so. So basically you have to pay 12 pips, uh, and then you get to, at the end of the, at the end of the battle, you get to take one of their, one of their items. Which you can get some pretty crazy stuff with. So we're gonna try to see what we can pull off here. Should be a good time. If we can find a bear, even better. Um, let's see, nothing too crazy so far. He didn't get any evens, so that's something. What the heck is this? <laughs> this is terrible, dude. Alright, give him another chance to get even. Okay, just kidding, he doesn't find it again. Okay. So at this point, we could take him out right now. But I think we do it like this. We're gonna heal at the end of this anyways, I don't really care if we take damage. I would like to get a fire item, you know what I'm saying? So we split this one. As long as we didn't get the 1-4, we're good to go. And we are. We get the fireball now. That's pretty good. Run a little marshmallow action. See, now we can actually use high cost cards, which is great. No reason to heal, so we'll just do a little damage here. Okay, he does get both of them off, but I think that's fine. We got triple five, that's kind of cool. Um, it is not great for our fireball, I'll tell you that much, but I think this is fine. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, hopefully we can finish him off here. If we didn't get frost frozen, we could. But, alas, no such luck. So I guess we set up finders keepers here. I think that'll be good. He got two ones. All right, another frozen, which is kind of a pain. But now we have to decide, do we want to do we want to do the finders keepers thing? So it's an interesting thing here. If you do fireball and he has a burn on something, he will never kill himself with the burn. So the marshmallow will never play that that dice. It's basically locked. So now that'll give us a little extra leeway here. We can go finders keepers into just a dagger, and that's perfect. Get a little healing in there. Okay. So we have a fireball. Probably want to run a snowball. Get a little wider, you know what I'm saying? Counterfeit's great. Counterfeit is the goat. The the best to ever do it. Now who do we get rid of? The dagger is one of those like you never wanna play the dagger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're never excited to be like, yeah, let's go dagger. Let's get the dagger cooking. Do a bunch of one health things, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe you are excited for the dagger. Who am I to say? Okay, I don't recall whether frozen or burn goes first. I think it's burn. Yeah, okay. So he does get to use that one after taking a couple damage. And at this point I'm, I'm sure you're probably asking why the heck haven't you used hook yet? <laughs> and I promise there's a reason. Um, that reason being, you know, there's no reason to. Once we have a, because hook just makes you replay your, your equipment. So like, what are we even gonna replay, you know? 
if we had two sixes, you know, maybe I would do replay on the fireball or whatever. But right now we can just kill him. Oh no, we can't actually. Just kidding. I lied. <laughs> I thought we had dagger still. Give me dagger back, please. Okay, so he's gonna deal five damage, freeze two, and two poison. I mean, it's not ideal, but so be it. So we might as well heal up here. Get back to 17 and then do some burn. Oh, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna level up anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, now this is the question. Which one of these equipments would you all take? Personally, I feel like Hall of Mirrors is the best, but I mean, we haven't tried Thunderspell before, so maybe we give that one a shot. Just to see, you know, I don't know what the upgrade is. Maybe it shocks everything. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like in general, the Hall of Mirrors is the better one. Because it sets you up so well for boss fights, you know? Okay, so in this case, we, we actually do want to use her. See? See? I, I remember it's there. <laughs> that was the most damage we could have done in a single turn. I'm very pleased with that. And yeah, now this guy's doing literally nothing. He's all frozen, like a big goofball. And he just rolled two ones, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> Alright, so... We go, what's the best way to bandage here? I think we just, I guess we're already maxing you guys, aren't we? Cool. So we're doing good. We're doing all right for ourselves. I think we go poison slingshot here. I mean, Venus flytrap is pretty underwhelming, especially for a two, like a, a double size item equipment. Okay, so we can go Thunder Spell. We have Bump now, which makes Thunder Spell a little more likely to pull off. The question is, do we need? I don't know what which one of these is better, because we can most guarantee Poison Slingshot with the Counterfeit here. We need to upgrade Counterfeit. That's what we need. Um, see, I. I I think Bump might be better than Lockpick. Slightly. A little bit. It'd be nice to have both of them, but for now. So what we're going to do here, if you go Sneezy, you can steal his thing, <laughs> which will make more sense here shortly. Um, you can steal his, his guy. See, this is where Lockpick might have been better. And if you upgrade his Sneeze ability, it will, any doubles, any duplicates, just trigger all of your, like, countdown equipment. So we're going to see if we can pull that off. Because then we can get poison and we're guaranteed to get access to one of their items every turn. So, let's see. We did get a four this time. That's huge. And then I think we're just gonna bump counterfeit and then we can activate both of these. I think it's probably the easiest way to do it. Slightly over on the finder's keepers there, but it obviously doesn't matter. Um, he does get doubles, but that doesn't matter. He actually deals less damage doing that. So we'll take it. Okay, and now, this is, so I don't know if you know this, if you bump a six, you just get an extra one. But in this case, it's actually great. We can, we can grab an extra one, heal up a little bit more. So this is perfect. So now we're gonna take the sneeze, which looks pretty unassuming right now, but it's going to be fantastic when we level it up. The Poison Slingshot just goes a little lower, which doesn't matter at all. Um, I do think we start Counterfeit. I don't want to do the Sneeze yet. Counterfeit plus is very important. 
now we can add the lock pick in, making us much more likely to hit that the four cost thunder spell. But now I think we just kind of clean up the rest of these homies. We strong against poison, which honestly, poison is so overpowered it doesn't matter. I'm still going to run poison because it's just good. So let's see. We want to get a four. The only way to guarantee is to do this and then we can bump if we don't hit the one four. We go here, we grab poison, we shock, and just throw the rest of it on finders keepers. What's he got? Ooh, ooh, blight. Blight could be very good for our build here. If we get the sneeze going, we could do a full on poison build. Okay, so I'm thinking with the worst rolls in the history of rolls, I think we're gonna need to do a double bump just to get the thunder spell going. And then, I mean, we can't get a whole lot on our poison slingshot here. We'll get a little bit. This way we're at least in range if we get another bad roll. We can make it work. So I'm confused. So you're, you're doing a little poison here. You're getting a little blight. But what's, what's the end game here for Mr. Haunted Jar? I think the end game is going to be death, but we'll see <laughs> if we can help it. Okay. That is quite literally the only way that could have ended poorly from a thunder spell perspective. So I think what we're going to have to do, I mean, there's nothing we really can do. We'll just heal as much as we can. We do get the slingshot and finders keepers. So there's that, I guess, but it's a tough roll. Okay, can he blight? Yes, he can. Fortunately, we're only at four, so now it would go to eight poison. Still not ideal. Um, I would like to be doing more than we currently are. Uh, let's see, we can bump for the thunder spell. And then, I mean, at this point, at this point, I think we just do it like, so he's taking five now. So if we get one more four, we should be good to go. And we only get one poison, that's nice, I guess. We're getting absolutely bodied by this haunted jar. I am not a fan. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and then we can do a little split, get the bandage cooking, get some counterfeits going. Okay, maybe when I said that poison is feel good enough to deal with the haunted jar, <laughs> that might have been, you know, oh, we got leveled up anyways, who cares? It's all in the past, nobody cares. <laughs> we don't matter. We don't matter, it doesn't matter. All right, sorceress. Um, is this the bear? Is the sorceress the one with the bear? I can't remember. Like we kind of have a pretty dope build going here. I don't even know if we want the bear. All right. Uh, no, okay. Sorceress is not the bear, homie. Good to know. Um, how do we want to play this? We could bump the five to a six and then duplicate. Get the poison cooking a little bit. As soon as we take out the sorceress here, we're going to be able to upgrade our sneeze and it's just over. So we, we really just have to get through this fight. And then we're, we're cooking. Alright, that's fine. Come on, don't get anything good. That counts as good. <laughs> I guess he can't use it because it's shock, but that's still pretty good. Alright, 
easy start here on the Thunder Spell. Um, I mean, we could double bump. That way we go counterfeit, poison slingshot. Now that I think about it, I, I think if we would have hooked the counterfeit, that would have given us 15 as opposed to 12. I don't know, maybe that would have been better. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. All right, no using the bandage today. We do get a bump onto the thunder spell. Um, just enough for finders keepers, so he doesn't do a lot of damage. Eh, eh not great, but could be worse. All right, so now we're just trying to heal. Just heal up a little bit. Which is actually very fortunate we got all of these odd dice. Okay, what are we stealing? Anything good? Sonic Wave is the best, I think. But Cauldron's kind of fun. I don't think we'll play Cauldron, but... <laughs> you don't see it very often. Okay, so looking back at here, is there anything we want to do that isn't sneeze? Right, is, I think sneeze is probably just the play. Uh, yeah. Considering we have Blight, it's just, it would be silly not to, you know what I'm saying? So we go Poison Slingshot, we go Blight, and I think we just keep Counterfeit and bandage. Bandage is kind of just a catch all of sorts. I don't know. It's not going to heal a lot. I'm not expecting it to, but it's like, are we really going to go? <laughs> like, are we going to get a four and a something else? I don't know. Because we have to roll exactly a four to, to land the thunder shot. So we'll just go here. Okay, starting out immediately with another poison resist. Followed short after by another poison resist. Um, okay, so I'm not actually sure if this goes in the order that we want it to. Like if it'll add the poison and then double. I guess we'll find out. No, it does not. That's unfortunate. Okay, so, so we're kind of like a turn behind, if you will. We have four poison. Not a huge fan of that. Already have doubles. So we can go duplicate the three so that we have more bandage triggers. Hmm. He did get two evens, but he didn't get sinkhole, so I don't know. That's not terrible. I'm kind of confused as to what the drain monster is supposed to be. Like, yes, he's a drain monster, but like, what does that mean? <laughs> is there actually a drain monster somewhere? In some like lore, some story or something? I don't know of any. I've never met him. Um, this is terrible news. <laughs> I guess we're not using our thing. Let's see. If we add poison, 25, that's not going to be enough. Okay, so we're going to have to survive one more. We could duplicate a three just for some healing. Oh man, this is... Those were some brutal hits on that weakness. Okay, only got one more poison. Okay, another nine damage. That sucks, but whatever. All right, let's heal up. We're up to 19. That's how much poison he had. How crazy is that? Okay, uh, sinkhole, I guess. 
because it's a countdown item. So we actually want to eat the apple here because we're going to level up after after fighting here. Um, how do I want to do this? There's a chance with bump that you can, there's actually a decent chance that you can just bump into a doubles if you have, if you haven't already rolled one. The odds of you not being able to with four dice is actually zero, right? Because one, three, five, you have to have either doubles or close to. But yeah, with bump we can guarantee doubles. That's kind of nice. Okay, well that works. <laughs> we just casually get another double six off the blind. Um, no curse this time. That's that's fortunate. We do get blinded. Not ideal. We get double four. Right, that was sixes. Fortunate. Why does he have to be at two? <laughs> Why does it have to be two? Fortunately, he didn't choose to hurt me, so that's nice. Thank you, Mr. Kraken. And this is one of those weird... <laughs> How do we keep just guessing these correctly? This is one of those weird ones where... The weird runs... That we don't actually want anything from the Kraken. Like, camouflage, technically it's a countdown, but... From what I can tell, blinding enemies that are like CPUs don't actually count. I think it doesn't do anything. Um, another blight? Hold on. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Okay, so you double and then double again. We're gonna test a theory, okay. I think that they go in order. Like they trigger top left to bottom right. So if we go slingshot, then blight, and then blight. I'm gonna see if that like makes it go in the order that we want it to. Now of course another enemy that's resistant to poison. Cause why the heck not? And yeah, so now as soon as hold on. Four, eight. Yeah, okay, okay, that works. Hey, that that is the way the way that it works. Love it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, as soon as we get doubles, like that's all we're doing. <laughs> and he's just gone. <laughs> this build is ridiculous. Imagine a third blight instead of the duplicate. You wouldn't always get it, but when you do, oh you're cooking. Cooking up a storm. Is there anything good here? That's too big. We we won't be able to play it. Why are all of the countdown ones huge? Like they both take up two spots. I don't get it. Um I mean there's like nothing we really care about upgrading. But I also don't want the other stuff. Uh we could bump us, I guess, just for fun. <laughs> Whatever that does for us. Alright, so I think at this point we just murder everybody. Maybe. I think it's just over. So everybody that we fight gets one turn to attack us. Because it goes 16 and then 76. What the hell is that? <laughs> this brother did not just roll three fives and a one. He's making use of that turn, I guess. What the heck? Alright. So yeah, now he's down to 76. Or he's up to 76 poison. So it's kind of weird. Like, we don't have any way to heal. Except for a bunch of apples. Um, a rotten apple... We shouldn't take hardly any damage from. Because he has to get 16 on the first roll to reduce our health by half. 
Otherwise, we just wipe them out anyways. And you will not get 16. The odds of him having get, gotten 16 there is like zero. Not actually, but like pretty close. Pretty darn close to zero. And I feel like this is just gonna annihilate the boss too, right? Like there's just no way we actually lose here. Unless somebody just has the most insane turn one ever. But I don't think that happens. I don't think that can happen. Alright, another sneeze, and this is just gonna be a wash and repeat. So we may end up just skipping to the end here. Um, is there any chance these... Maybe adding a rat in? Oh no. Inflicting one extra poison and getting an, a dice that we don't need? I don't think is really gonna cut it. I don't think that's gonna make the team, you know? He did get all six rat triggers. What is with these guys? They're just going insane on me. First it was the, the Yeti, no man homie, getting the most insane turn one ever. Now the rat guy gets the best turn one he could get. They're, they're fighting back. <laughs> they're fighting back, all right. All right, let's see what's in this shop. Holy Christmas, dude, a third blight? What is going on? <laughs> I was just kidding. I didn't think we'd actually find a third one. Okay, well, how insane is this? Let's find out. So now we just have to get lucky and roll doubles. But if we do, what are we getting? We do 4, 8, 12, or no, 4, 8, 16, 32. 32 poison per turn. Well, on turn one, I should say. Another incredible turn one. These guys are insane. Not that it matters, but still, they're insane. Okay. Is this the greatest poison build to ever do it? Maybe. I mean, it's gotta be, right? There's no way a poison build is faster scaling than this. And yeah, all of these just like lower the cost of them. They don't actually like do anything. So let's do, who do we wanna upgrade? Roll a dice of value three or more. And at this point we're just kinda upgrading to upgrade, right? Just for fun. Who are we fighting? Buster. Buster's about to get blamed by our poison. <laughs> He's gonna get smack or you need. Strong inspire. Happy. Thank you. We got the doubles. Um, I think. Three, two. Okay, so he doesn't quite die in two if we don't hit the second turn of doubles. What are the chance of getting two double or getting a double with five dice? Probably pretty high. Wait, what the hell? We we didn't get it. <laughs> What's that all about? I was about to say. Alright. Cause you have to get... You kinda have to get a small straight. Like a 1 through 5, 2 through 6 kinda thing. We did get it this time. 272? Jesus Christ. Poison build is insane. <laughs> Alright, well... The greatest build to ever do it. That has to be the most damage ever, probably. Hit the skeleton again, unfortunate. We'll get it next time. But yeah, pretty cool. I like that one, that was a fun one.